Hello, art students. Before we get started with this week's assignment, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about something the art department is going to be doing. We're going to be having an online art show. So keep your eyes open for that. Over the next week or so, I'm going to be choosing some artwork from possibly this week's assignment and some previous assignments, and then I'm going to put those in that art show. Unfortunately, I can only choose about 10, and it's going to be a tough job because you all are doing a really great job with the projects that you are doing at home. So today's project is going to be calligraphy. It's a printing technique where you use cardboard and you make an image, basically your printing plate. And we're going to be using recycled materials for this. Hopefully you have some cereal boxes or my son eats these Lunchables. So I have a lot of this and you want to be using this thin type of cardboard. So I'm going to tilt this so you can see my workspace a little easier. Okay, so you can see this is work in progress. This is a finished calligraph. So it's thin piece of cardboard. I made it very simple, you know, so that we can go through this demo pretty fast. You can take a little bit more time and make yours a lot more complicated. So you just want to deconstruct your box so you get some flat areas. Here's another one so I can show you. Um, you're just going to simply, you know, cut it into whatever shapes you want. I'm using glue stick. You can use Elmer's glue if you have that. Basically whatever you have at home. The tricky part is we don't have everything at home always. And um, I understand you may not have any of these materials. So, and you may not be able to complete this project. So in that case, you're gonna maybe just make a drawing of what you would have liked to have done, make a piece of artwork showing you know what the possibilities would have been so you're just going to simply glue your pieces down once you have it completed then you're going to get a piece of aluminum foil just enough to cover your artwork i'm going to lay it face down and fold this foil over the back trying to keep it nice and flat don't have to tape it unless it's a really small piece of foil and you need to do that you can. Once you have it covered, you're going to take the pad of your finger and just smooth that foil down. You can see that your image is starting to pop out. You can do any subject matter. So some good ideas might be making an insect. You could do a flower like I did. I thought about doing a sailboat on an ocean. You can even hold it this way. You could make your your artwork round, or you could make it square, you could do an abstract design, whatever you'd like to do. Once you have the foil smoothed down, then you're gonna take water-soluble markers. You can see that I have some little Elmer's markers, uh, Elmer's uh, Crayola markers, and you're gonna start coloring your image. And you wanna take your time, probably a little more than I am, because I don't want this video to take too long. And it gets a little boring after a while. And I'm purposely making some of these lines because that's gonna show up when I print this. I'm gonna use two colors on the petals. A magenta and then a purple. And you can see the markers on the foil, they do kind of bead up a little bit. And you can also notice I'm trying not to touch my colored areas because it will come off on my fingers and I'd rather it be on my paper that I'm printing on. So of course the idea of a print is that we can use this multiple times. So I can print this over and over. So it's a good idea for you to try printing this more than once. I use more traditional, traditional colors of green for the stem, but you know that you don't have to do that. I don't know, did I mention a robot too? A robot would be a good subject matter. I am going to color the entire plate, so that means I'm gonna do the background as well. It's gonna add even more interest to my finished work. It might be a good idea to be on a paper towel or a piece of newspaper as you're doing the background, even though they are water soluble, it's 
kind of nice to be neat in your work area. I'm sure that your adults at home are going to be appreciative of that. So I'm just putting a little bit of blue here in the background. And I certainly could have done more than one color in the background too. But I am trying to be very speedy. Okay, once I have it completely covered, I'm going to get a piece of copy paper. So I'm going to use another piece of copy paper as my placemat for this. So my copy paper, I'm going to take a damp sponge and I'm just going to wet this a little bit in the center where I'm going to lay it on top of my print. This is going to help the ink from the markers to blend. So I'm going to lay this on top and press. You got to be careful not to rub really hard with your hands. You can see that I'm really just pressing. If you rub this and the paper is wet, it might tear. And then this is called pulling a print where you lift it up and you can see your finished product, which I think it's really pretty. And it would be really fun to have another one, maybe even a third one with different color scheme. When you are completed with your project, please line up your finished ones. You can even cut them out if you'd like. Line them up and take one photograph of maybe two or three different color schemes on your print and post them on the artboard. Remember, the artboard is where I look to make sure that you completed projects. I give you credit for it. And it's also a really nice place for your classmates to see what you're doing, trying to simulate being in class together. So I hope you have fun with this project and have a very good week.